Steven Paddock was a major Powerpuff Girls fan, and maybe possibly a gamer, and he might have been into young pornography, but we'll get into that in a second. So how do we know that he liked the Powerpuff Girls? And I don't know what this has to do with the, the investigation, but you can see in this picture, they're right there in the background, and then you look in this picture, because some people might say, well, that's fake. You look in this picture, and it's right there. And the picture that his brother, whoever that is, is holding of him, right there they are, right? So if you look at it's been verified and you go down here, so this is, you can pause this if you want to, if anyone wants to look at this, I don't think you're gonna find anything new. This is one of his emails and people are like, oh, well, they don't know if this is his email. It's definitely his email. I mean, there's, you know, that you can see the Powerpuff Girls in the background of the picture. And uh, if you put this email into Spokeo, you get some interesting, you get like uh, his Daily Motion and his, uh, his Photo Bucket account. And there's only one person that's associated with this. So if we take that email, we put it in here. Oh, let it go for a second. While that's going on, we're going to take and start searching for this in a search engine and see what it and it reveals. And uh, let's see, we got this. This guy. This is friends with this guy. Um, I found this. If you go down here, you're going to see someone with the same name right here. Now, this account's never been complete, but this would imply that Paddock might have might have had a Steam account, but he never... So I don't understand why it was never completed. So we know, like, there's nothing here. Now, I even checked on Steam. You can't find anything about him on it. The thing is not... Cause his... his profile is not complete but somewhere else here right here see this 18x girls southern charms there's also something on here that uh he might have been looking for a russian mail order bride possibly in in 2014 or 2015 i'm not sure because i don't know when when um he met mary lou danley but there he is if it's him april 2014 He's looking at some type of porn. And then we also have this one. Same thing. I don't know that it just doesn't sound like the way he would talk. Thanks, yo. But it's definitely there. It's spelled the same way as it is as an email address. But there is someone else that uses that alias that isn't. But uh, let me see here. There's another one here where there's some... Let me pause it while I find this and I'll pull it up. Now, this particular one is interesting. I don't even know if it's going to come up now because it's taking a while to load. But this one right here. This is some type of Russian mail order bride website of some sort. And now it's not loading, of course. So now I'm going to pause it while it takes its time. Alright, here we are. Because something's going on with this. Because this site is mysteriously down all of a sudden. So I had to go to archive.is and here we go we got dumb what this is because it's gone but if you look for his alias it's here too powerpuff 78 it's right there i don't know what this is i don't know why a russian mail order bride website is mentioning the same handle that he uses online but there you have it and i don't know what any of this means i'm just putting it out there but uh I don't know what this this stuff means. I don't I don't have any idea. I just know that apparently this guy was a Powerpuff girl fan that enjoyed his uh, his young porn and his Russian mail or the rides. I don't know if it's him. We've seen other evidence that would suggest that there's other people that use the same handle, but he definitely was a Powerpuff girl fan. I mean, it's right. It's it's in his pictures. It's right here in the background. It's right there, and it's in his Spokeo. And this, oh, let didn't show you this. This is his, uh, this is apparently his, uh, I don't know if it's true or not. Because there might be an alias here, but see what these guys do is search for the, the name. So there's nothing here, though. There's, there's nothing. And in this one, even though Spikeo identifies it as, as, uh, as Stephen Paddock, this one identifies it as John Carter. So is it possible that John Carter might be the alias to his secret life? I don't know. I don't know, but it's definitely out there.